Hello everybody, Vichy Bombs here. Today I'm bringing you guys a siege battle in Fall of the Samurai. It's a 3v3. I have Riley with me once again, as well as this flying Brit man. And now this battle does last for a solid 20 minutes. Like, goes down right to the very end, so I'm probably gonna jump around a little bit in a few places. My army's basically 5 units of melee, a bunch of Shogatai, and then some Katana Kachi. And then I have my Devil Dogs, which actually come into play quite nicely in defending all of our artillery, as we each have an artillery piece. There are two Paracons, mine are the Greens, and then Riley has uh, Paracons, they're Armstrong guns, but I accidentally misset it. But here we go, our Flying Brick guy, he has mostly guns, and then Riley and I have kind of a mix. And for some reason, they had a bunch of cavalry out here, maybe they thought they could take down our artillery or something with it, but it doesn't really end up going too well for them. And this artillery bombardment is just destroying them. They also have Armstrong guns, they're already down to three. Don't catch you running away. So they're Armstrong guns. For some reason, I didn't kill them. Well, artillery pieces are completely like immune to artillery or something. Like that trip just destroyed them. Nothing happened. And this is a like, like, humongous mistake for them. They just sent everyone up into the middle. Just, they aren't even going all across the walls or anything, so we get an easy foothold. As the gates are already open for us because of the retainer I have on. So it's not hard at all to get up there. Well, these guys will charge in the cavalry soon. I'll just go ahead and skip board until then because there's nothing that really happens. It's exciting. Alright, well, Riley's getting his guys up to the walls. They're just gonna run through the gate and get capture the tower. And there's our two ponies are just kind of sitting there. Bunch of carbon cavalry. They're getting destroyed by the Armstrong guns. Pretty sure there's a mine shooting at them. Let's go wash your next volley. Barrage, whatever you want to call it. Dang it. Yep, he's about to charge. Let's just go and ride these guys. Run them in there. Yep, nothing really happens for a few more minutes, so I'll go ahead and skip forward. Alright, I'm starting to send up my melee guys in hopes that this cavalry is going to move or something. And they will. And their keep just got destroyed. Well, yep. I think massive melee guys. And here comes their Uma, so whatever they are. Weird cavalry name. Alright, here come the cavalry over the hill. I should be tied. They start to withdraw. The Uma Katsubushi and the Uma Okamabushi. That probably means something, but I'm not sure what it means. I start targeting them with my Armstrong guns. Third battle, shooting my guys, inflicting some casualties, fortunately. Flying Brit is setting up some Tilsa riflemen. They just got demolished. Oh, the route. As well, they're just getting destroyed, and we are in position of towers, so we're raining out flaming arrows on them. And they're getting shot at, just put on top of everything. And then my marines start shooting at them. Oh my gosh, they're just getting destroyed! Nope, they're all routing, it's not like they're charging us or anything, but they will all die. It's not the best idea to route towards us. And then I just set my guys in loose formation, and we'll have to deal with the rest of the cavalry now. This Sir, unit of artillery! Is under remember these guys until the end of the battle. They don't really do anything until Maybe then, but just remember them. Just can charge my guys up. See what they do. Let's go and just fast forward it. The lone pony. Alright. Here comes the carbine cavalry. Sending the key on that way as well. Oh, I do turn my Devil Dogs around to deflect the charge. And these guys are just going to get sideswept but I'm going to take those casualties in order to get up in the castle. And these guys will actually charge my ally in the woods. we we'll defeat them. Let's go up here. Let's grab my cavalry. Alright, they're running away. Alright, 
And O'Reilly is running up here to take this archery tower over. Takachi kind of destroyed them. We didn't put him in loose formation. And they are getting shot from the walls, and the arrows, just everything. But we do end up starting to shoot our cannons up here. These guys just get completely cut down by our cannons. Yep, there goes Takachi. Those guys are being wiped out. They will fight to the death considering they're in the keep. They're not outside of the castle, so they will just continue fighting. And that was like the one main advantage that the defenders have from the castle. You guys cannot route. Like if they're in one of these lower stages, they can get broken and run up here, but then they'll fight to the death as long as they're in the central keep area. So that's one important thing to remember. Let's get nothing really important happening, just shelling them. Go ahead and fast forward it. Let's see what the cavalry are doing. Nothing really. Alright. Let's watch the carnage. We just target these guys for a while because you know Bowman can be a really bad thing to have against you. Get down a Kashi down there as well. We do effectively. Effectively minimize the amount of archers they have. You can see by all the dead people laying on the ground. Oh no! Couldn't fly. More coming. Almost watch it. Oh, complete misses. Alright, well. Starting to bring up some more people. Well, I is. I do bring up my devil dogs eventually. He's walking his guys up. Just don't want to get him tired. And me and Riley just wait for our showing to finish. You guys can see we have a lot of their forces like just dwindling. What's going on? It's at the 11 minute mark. And we are charging! Damn! Just shoot these guys in the walls now. Enemy draws near. Right, so there we are. It's a mix of mine and Riley's men. Mine are mostly the big red guys, big colorful ones. They have the great flags. As you can see, we are using the open gates to our advantage, just piling through those things and charging at their katanas. These are men, my butterfingers. Charge! Oh, look at that slash! Look at him go! Oh, he got shot right now. Oh, let's see who wins this engagement. Oh, he just got shot! Here comes the other guys. That's where they are, the Kamikazes. Looking up for the name. Shogatai making it up here, too. He's probably starting to get a few of the Look at all these guys running up here, wish we could closer. There we go. Dial from the soldier's perspective. Alright, there guys are routing, but they will stop right at the gate. That is not good. Yo, charging in slow motion! Oh! Uh oh, see what happens. Oh! Oh! Off his head! Oh no, his flag's blocking the way. Oh, a little lag. He just got sliced. Oh! Oh! Get your spinal cord severed. It's fun watching this. The soldier's perspective. But as you can see, both sides have kept casualties down here. They're taking heavy friendly fire. They're retreating back up there. And the Katanas are holding firm right in the middle of the gate. Just gonna battle out while still shelling them continuously. Just pounding them. There are allies also coming up here. There's Royal Marines. Always coming. I just keep pressing the attack. Most of the guys have routed 
They are starting to come back. These cannons. There's that Imperial infantry lined up at the walls, as well as Tulsa Rifleman, which are definitely not pushovers. Great accuracy and everything. He's like the Archer Tower. The guys are fairly close to the walls. So they don't get shot too badly. They are still gonna. I'm pretty sure they do route. They do come back. A unit is running from the battlefield, sir! Alright, he's setting up a flying line to help put all the guys on the walls down. Alright, that is working out quite nicely. We probably should have done that before we charged up there, but we did not know we were affected with our guns just shooting at them. Yep, all my guys are routing. They do come back to 74. There we go, that can't get out of there. Little trap jam's happening. Very unfortunate if an Armstrong gun hit it right there. Just running out this wall. And the US Marines are moving up there. The Devil Dogs! As the cavalry threat has been eliminated, they actually moving back up here. They don't have too many people left, but neither do we. We are dwindling. I mean, dwindling a lot. But our ally is moving some Imperial infantry up here, which I actually didn't notice until he was almost all the way up the wall. So that definitely does help us out a ton. Don't think he starts climbing yet, but he's going to, as soon as the opportunity draws itself. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more. The time limit is now down to about six and a half minutes. And my people start to come back for another run at us. Wish my guys all fought to the death as well. And there's their general. Four men. They don't have too many people left. But that wall they have, that just gives them the humongous advantage as well as the Katana Couch that just do not want to give up in there. Alright, here my guys. Keep on foaming up. Alright, yep, my guys are getting kind of shot by some arrows. Nothing too bad. They barely even died. Because they are in loose formation, so it doesn't minimize the casualties. They all are severely exhausted, and all they have whistling arrows back down on us. That's why they routed the first time, they were whistling arrows on them. And they probably will route again this time. They'll push! Here come their 109 Katanakashi! That was not on four and a half minutes. And if you guys don't know, it's the time limit. It's basically, if it runs out, the defenders automatically win. So the attackers, it's kind of presses them to attack. It's really nice because the four siege battles could literally last for like a couple hours. As long as really do anything. Now I just charge my expendables up this wall, and they are going for their Bokachi! Look at him go slow motion! Going for the kill! BAM! Oh! Pooped on! Alright, got all. Oh, look at these men! Going out in the plains of glory! Alright, well that was exciting. I do effectively eliminate almost all of his Bokachi right here. Oh, we are still fighting our way up through that gate. We have a ton of force moving in through here. As well as my US Marines about to pile up, and I don't think very much friendly fire occurs at all, surprisingly. We do manage to eliminate almost everyone on this wall. Look at my guys go! Go, expendables, go! And yep, my ally moved up his guys. And that definitely helped out a lot. Imperial infantry, they'll provide some fire on the carbine cavalry. And also moved up some white bears. They're trying to get charged, it would be terrible to fall off that wall. Oh, but they just did that. So then my expendables are celebrating, but now it's time to charge these two Bokachi! Let's watch these guys get annihilated. I'm actually not telling them to charge at the Bokachi, they're charging at the Tosa Rifleman, but these guys die as well. In the face. Wish I had the blood back. I actually might consider getting that. Oh! Look at him! Stab from behind! What a boss. Oh, yep, going up to get his Definitely very effective. Oh, look at that! You did not see that go back in the line. Oh, look at that bossaroo! They are just being annihilated. 
my sugar tire force to be reckoned with. Look at him go. These doses are fighting to the death. So the Tadagachi, we almost have broken through the gates. Gonna just send some last samurai up there. This is a big, big solid wall of gunfire. Now at this point there's only about two minutes left. We are getting frantic to try to take over this keep. So we are just charging everything we have in there. Just look at all these dead people. And there are those Armstrong guns. Don't you remember them? Here we go. There's all of our men. I'm charging up my devil dogs. There's two Katanakachi standing between us and victory. And my Shogatai are routing up here. They did a good job. Had a good run. But now it's not a time to run. Oh, here comes my devil dogs. Going in for the kill. For the capture. For victory. Through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Oh no. That was definitely friendly fire. Oh well. I'm running over here because there's about a minute and a half left trying to capture this place, but they have four freaking general solid motos or whatever standing right here. Going to melee mode with them. They're backing away. And for some reason, the victory timer doesn't start going off. Oh, it does a little bit, but does not let us fully get that thing in. There's generals right there. This is truly coming down to the last second. We have a minute left to kill all these guys or capture this thing who just doesn't want us to. Hey General, good old man, can't take out my devil dogs. Oh! The cut to the neck. Alright, now they barely have anybody left at this moment. We just killed them all over here. Except there's one little pile of poop that's standing between us and ultimate victory. This freaking guy on the arm, strong gun. Now for some reason, Riley's guys charged him. And he is holding off. There are 20 seconds left to kill him. And he manages to take down one of those black bear infantry. Charge it in the Royal Marines. Oh no. He, he's going for another one. He does a barrel roll. This could win it for him. This one guy is that's all that's left of their army. Oh no, look, they're charging. Oh, there he goes. But will his death animation finish? There's zero time limit left. And this truly did come down in the last second. Two, one, bam. Close victory, as close as you can get it, really. This battle was seriously the closest battle I've ever fought before. Truly came down to the last second. If you guys can find a closer one, then please send it to me. Because this was a pretty dang good battle. Hope you guys liked it. This was Jeff definitely a longer battle than most of my other ones. No matter red count and subscribe. If you do like these videos, tell me if I should do more of them. If you have any other ideas, any other ideas, sorry I've been yelling too much, too excited. If you have any other ideas on what I should do for other videos, go ahead and tell me. But for now, I will see you guys later. See ya. Well, I'll probably go back to the post-battle stats, see if I can pull them up. Alright, here we are in the post-battle screen thing. Um, I did suffer the most losses on our team because I did charge the most people in there. And I did kill the most as well. And their mock guy, he was the guy with all the cavalry, he didn't really do too much. Battle brother Eric, he did the most work. So I applaud them, respect them, a good battle, good game. And I did get a bunch of kills my Armstrong guns. They were definitely the stars. Then my marines after that. I generally even got involved. Here's some of Riley's guys. Royal Brit. Flying Brit. Battle brother Eric. He has Tosas and his Imperial Infantry really got to us. And then this guy's general actually did a lot of work. I'm pretty sure he was the guy who was left standing in there. And then he has cavalry did not do much at all. This guy only got seven kills. And yep, this is the guy with all the Bokachi, and their Armstrong guns didn't really do too much either. So yep, hope you guys like this, see you guys later.